Uh, hello, my name is Kai. I'm a student in the School of Science and Technology and a teacher in its talent development program for app development. So from my birth until when COVID started, I, my dad's work would have my family move countries roughly every two to three years. So I've had the pleasure of living in five different countries. And when I had to come up with an idea for the system challenge, I thought, why not make use of the unique experiences I've had? So from that, I created Culture Speedrun. The concept is simple. The speed run is centered around three countries I felt had the largest impact on me. And each country has a mini game associated with it. And the player would have 30 seconds to complete it, similar to how my family would spend two to three years in each country before flying to the next. So aside from the content of the app, I also sneaked in a few fun things. So for example, there are conversations based, there are cutscenes based on conversations that my dad had with his bosses. And every single time the page changes, there's this plane flying across the screen animation that took me quite a while to make, uh, which would reveal the next game. So this game is called, uh, this game is for Vietnam called the Bun Tra Challenge. And you have to drag this bowl across the screen through this maze, trying to get all of the correct ingredients. So to implement this, I needed to create some custom drag gestures so that you wouldn't have to raise and put your finger down all the time every single time you want it to move. And I also had to code it so that it wouldn't, for example, phase through walls. And as you can see, the timer is ticking down. Yay. So after each of the games, there's a small image or some, some text uh, saying like how that country's culture impacted me and my family. So for example, this is a picture of my mom eating uh, bun tra at a Vietnamese restaurant. So the next game, nice animation. The next game is Panda Dash. So it, it's for Chengdu, China. And in Chengdu, it's famous for its pandas. And pandas are in danger due to human infrastructure projects like rails and like rails and roads. So in this game, the panda has to go across about a dozen roads. So to code this, uh, I implemented my own custom collision system because in Swift UI, since it's relative positioning, it's quite hard to tell when two things intersect. So what happens is that the panda moves frame by frame and then it does a collision check to check if it's on the same Y level as any of the vehicles. And if you hit into any of them, the panda just moves back so that you don't have to restart all the time. And the last game that I made was for Thailand. So in Thailand, even though I lived in Bangkok for most of the time, uh, whenever we would have a school, school holiday, my family would go across the countries. And usually inside, inside each province, there would be a temple that we would go to. So this game. There's a plane that just flies across a map of Thailand. And at each, at each tem temple location, it would have a picture that I took there and then a small amount of text explaining what that temple is, its significance, and then a small quiz. Ah, I got it wrong. And then there'll be this animation that for this plane that moves across. So the aim of this game was to sort of like show off all these cultures that I had experienced so other people would be able to understand it and in a way experience it. So that's it for my app. Uh, thank you very much.